Javier, last time we met, we were at the uh, Miami Beach Convention Center inside at the Miami uh, International Boat Show, and we did a little walk around with the Sea Dew Switch. And well, I was here in Miami, so and I had a little extra time, and I had a switch behind uh, behind my vehicle. So I'm glad to be able to take you out today. So this is the 21 foot Sea Dew Switch with 230 horsepower. It's our cruise package, which means it has a little bit of extra seating. So that's one of the, the special aspects about the switch and actually where the name came from is you can literally switch around the cockpit. So we can move different seating around. So I can just move the camera bag here a moment. For instance, I can move this seat. If I wanna move this over here, I can move that there. And it's really inspired by Legos. The designers uh, really wanted to make this modular because when you're out on the water with a family, everybody wants something a little bit different. And this really allows you to really customize the cockpit to fit any moment of your day on the water. So I just changed that configuration in about 30 seconds. You can have the seats going across like a love seat facing forward or you can send them uh, having facing back. And there's a bunch of different accessories that you can plug and play and literally make the cockpit however you want, just uh, simply moving them around on these link tiles. And then some of the other tiles that we have, one of the features on this is some cushioning. Because we're down here in South Florida, but if you were in Arizona, or anywhere. I mean, Minnesota, it gets hot. The sun can get hot. So this keeps it nice and cool on your feet when the sun's out. But all of these pop up. And then this is where you see the actual link design. So that's what the seats actually lock into. So there's a seat, there's a locking mechanism underneath each one of the accessories. And that's what locks into the floor. So you can literally adjust and change the, the entire deck. I mean, you can switch it up. And it's not the first time I've said that with this product. The other really unique aspect of this is it's a pontoon boat, but it has the same controls as our Sea Dew watercraft. And the reason for that, we went away from a steering wheel simply because it's really for the first time boater and all of your controls are right on the handlebars. The throttle, the brake in reverse, obviously steering, but also your, your gauge functions, your on-off switch, your trim, all of your functions, you never have to take your hands off the handlebars to control compared to a steering wheel, steering wheel that you gotta go one and a half turns this way, one and a half and throttle here. So for a new boater, uh, it's a very, very friendly design. And it's, it's, uh, it's done very well with consumers. We're just starting to deliver uh, them now over the last couple months. Uh, we do have challenges like every manufacturer of anything right now. So we, we're not quite delivering um, the way we hope to, but uh, they're getting out on, in consumers' hands. And so far, the initial feedback's been really good. So we're gonna cast off from the, uh, the dock and then, Javier, we're going to let you get behind the handlebars and, and uh, have some fun because that's really the, uh, that's the main element of boating is, is getting out on the water and having fun. And we're in Miami, and it's one of the most unique cities to see by water. So let's go take a look. So some of the unique designs of this Sea Dew Switch is the fact that it's made of our Polytech. So it's a polypropylene. It's a composite material. It's not... It's not aluminum, big aluminum tubes that are heavy. So it's, uh, we can construct it a little bit different, which makes it a little bit lighter. Traditional vehicle, a, a normal family vehicle is able to tow a switch. So we just have a small uh, SUV that we pulled it with today and just pull it right off the trailer and, and we're gonna head out with that. So some of the other unique features with this machine is it's, it's not a propeller, it's not an outboard, it's not an inboard, it's, not, it's a jet drive. 
Again, it's the same drive line as a watercraft. So we're actually right above the engine right now, but it's jet power. So it's processing water all the time. So like I can literally, I can pivot the machine almost in its own length. And that really makes it a lot easier when you're docking or in your, when you're in tight quarter situations. Maybe you're trying to find that perfect spot on a sandbar or uh, you're just going into a marina uh, to get lunch at a restaurant, it's usually kind of crowded. So just being able to, again, go from forward neutral to reverse, it just gives you a lot of control in those slow speed situations. So we have a little bit of an idle zone to get through. Then we can run. So this is our 21 footer. We also have an 18 and a 13 foot uh, switch model and the power is the Rotax 1630 cc or 1.6 liter uh, engine. We have naturally aspirated with 100, and 100 horsepower and 170. This model is that same engine but it's supercharged so we're actually putting out 230 horsepower. So we've got some pretty good torque with this machine and, and for a pontoon boat it, it makes it really fun. So now the fun part, it's all on this finger right here. So some of the other uh, items that, to make it more fun and enjoyable is some of the electronics. So it's fairly basic on this model, but we do have a 100 watt Bluetooth sound system. So you can hook up your phone and uh, have great sound in the cockpit. We actually have an, uh, an additional upgrade with a JL audio system that you can really be the, the party on the lake uh, with that system. In the glove box, we've got a US, two USB outlets here so you can keep your phone charged while you're playing all those tunes. And then also we've got the six inch uh, Garmin system. So navigation, uh, so you can track your, your route. Uh, this is basic right now because we haven't added the detailed mapping that does come with the system. So you do get one Garmin, it's called a token. So that allows you to, to download detailed uh, navigation information such as depths, such as channel markers. Uh, so again, you can uh, plan your route or, or know where you're going. So that's one of the, the nice features on the, on the switch. So this is one of the areas too that we really worked on. This is again, part of why we have the, the handlebar steering system is docking. Docking is one of the most anxiety filled moments for most boaters and the switch is really intended to be easy for the first time boater because we don't want you to to be concerned or, or that you're going to be a spectacle at the dock. The only reason you should be expect a spectacle at the dock is because you have the coolest coolest boat at the boat ramp. So this is what makes uh, uh, docking really easy. Again, I'm just going to be able to transition from forward neutral reverse without ever removing my hands. So it just makes it really, really easy. So the switch has been really popular, boating's really popular uh, since the pandemic, uh, more so than ever. This, the switch is, is, has a lot of demand. So 2022, we're actually sold out. So if anybody's really interested in getting a switch, you need to go see uh, one of your CD dealers and put a deposit on a, on a 2023. They're all built in Sturdivant, Wisconsin. So uh, they're really focused in, in the US where Sea-Doo is really a global brand. The switch itself, because the pontoon market's so big in the US, it's built right in the Midwest. So uh, 
Yeah, get your name on one for 2023 and, and we'll see you on the water next summer.